this video I'm going to show you how to create custom sidebars for different pages, uh, different post categories, and even for archive pages like uh, the listing page for the WP Listings plugin. So you'll see here in the site I'm using, I'm using our prime location theme. I'm going to go to the dashboard of my site. And if you don't have um, the custom sidebars plugin installed yet, you can do it here from plugins, add new, and we're going to search for the plugin that we want to use. It's called custom sidebars. And this is the plugin we're going to use, custom sidebars by WPMU Dev. So let's install that plugin now. And we're going to activate it. Okay, once it's activated, we're going to go now to our widget areas at Appearance, Widgets. And you'll see now that our widget area looks much different now with this uh, plugin installed. You'll see you have the option here for sidebars to create a new sidebar, to import or export sidebars that you've created from another site. And here's your default widget areas that, that come with WordPress or with your theme. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a custom sidebar for a page. Let's click on the blue button, create a new sidebar. We're going to give it a name. Buyer's sidebar. And the description is sidebar. for buyers page. Okay, now you'll see there's a little checkbox here for advanced. You can check that if you want to add some custom uh, HTML or text um, before the title, after the title, or before the widget, or after the widget. Um, but we're just going to do a plain simple sidebar. sidebar I bar for buyers page okay let's create our sidebar okay we now have a new widget area called buyers sidebar so let's add some widgets to it um, maybe on our buyers page we want to uh, add a button add a button to go to contact us there we go. Now you know our theme has some short codes for doing buttons, so let's go to that short code here. We're just going to copy it. And we're just going to do uh, large button and let's put that short code into our text widget here <clears throat> now we want this to be a contact us button so we're going to put the text that we want displayed on the button here okay and then for the URL, we want this to go to our contact page. So let's go to our list of pages. And let's go to our contact us page. We're going to copy that URL. And put it here between the quotation marks in URL. There we go. Let's save that. Okay, that's one widget. And um, then maybe we want to add our, um, we have some IDX broker search links in a custom menu. So we're going to add that. And we're going to call that search tools. Uh, but you can add a, okay, you can add a video. Let's try adding a video too. Uh, let's go to YouTube. 
Here's a video we're going to use, Tips on Upgrading Your Home. Let's copy that embed code and just drop it into a text widget here. We don't want it that big. Okay. by 169 okay let's save that now that we've got our custom sidebar created we're going to add this to a page now if you're adding it to a page uh, rather than use this sidebar location you go to the actual page itself and select that sidebar so let's go to our page and in our page we've got a by page we're going to edit that okay now this particular page was set up to be full width so we're going to change that to the content sidebar layout once we do that then we can select the sidebar we want to use and you'll see here you have a new option for sidebars where you can replace the default sidebar we're going to replace the default sidebar here with this buyer sidebar we just created. So let's go ahead and update this page. And let's view this page where we created that custom sidebar. There we go. There's the button we created for contact us. There's the custom menu with the search tools. And there's the video that we added. So this is how you would add it for any page. Uh, <clears throat> so now let's, let's create a custom sidebar for a particular category. Let's go and create a new sidebar and we're going to call this um, market stats sidebar. Sidebar for market stats. category okay now now let's make sure that we've got a market stats category here for our post so let's go to all post no so we're going to create one let's go to categories and we're going to create a category called market stats and then we're going to put some post in that category so let's uh, put three post in there <coughs> and add it to that market stats category we just created Okay, <clears throat> now that we've got some posts in there, let's view, the <clears throat> view those posts that are in the market stats category. And here we go, here's the three posts we put in that category, and this is the default sidebar. Now we want to change that sidebar to something else for those posts that are just in that category. Okay, so now that we've got our market stats sidebar, we're going to click on sidebar location. Now this is not for a single entry. We want to go down to where it says for archives. And for archives, you can select archive types, category ar archives, or author. We're doing this for a category, so we're going to select category archives. I'm going to select this as the default sidebar for a category archive and click in the little field here and we're going to select market stats. So let's save that.
Okay, now that we've set the location, let's add some widgets to this. Um, let's add, um, just add a search widget to be able to search the site. And maybe we have some uh, market stats in a page somewhere. If you're using Altos or the Simple Real Estate Pack, you can put some uh, market stats in a page. We're just going to pick something here sample page okay there we go <clears throat> so now we've got this uh, widgets in our market stats sidebar so let's go back to our market stats category page where we're showing the default sidebar and refresh you'll see now We've got a custom sidebar just for this category. Search the site and that example page that we put in. So that's how you do it for a category. Now suppose we want to create a custom sidebar for uh, the WP listings listings. So let's go to those listings. And these are the manual listings that you put in using the WP Listings plugin. This is the default listing page. Now, a listings archive page doesn't have a sidebar, so let's try doing a custom footer for those pages. So let's go back to create a new sidebar, and we're going to call this listings footer footer for WP listings archive <clears throat> and we're going to create that sidebar and sidebar location is we're going to change say um, from our blog with something else, which is footer 2. Let's go down here for archives. Footer 2. And the archive type is the listing archives. And save that. Okay, now for that footer 2, on our listing archive instead of from our blog let's put um, that custom menu again with our search tools and select those IDX search links and save that okay now let's go back to our listings archive and refresh and you'll see now that footer 2 widget area has been replaced with the search tools just for that listings archive. If we go back to another page, say our blog page, it has the original footer 2. So you can actually have different footer widgets on certain pages. So this is how you can use that custom sidebar plugins, you know, to create different sidebars or different footer widgets, um, you know, on pages on um, post categories and with their different archive types.